course, the problem with the tree like this is we can't quite fit it all on the page. Oh my. <laughs> At least you guys are having a good time. Today we are setting off on a drawing adventure from San Miguel de Allende. We're going to see El Sabino, the biggest tree in the whole state of Guanajuato. So let's go draw it, it's gonna be fun. We are waiting for some friends to arrive and I figured I would show off my materials for drawing on the go while we wait. My absolute favorite is my Lamy Safari pen. It is just dreamy, so beautiful, you can carry around a few extra ink cartridges and draw without fear of running out of ink. I've got a water brush pen, so you fill this cartridge with water. And then if I want to create a brush-like, inky, flowy quality with the pen, I can just go over my pen drawings with this. The rest is a little bit of a mishmash. <laughs> That's what we got. We're ready for our adventure and excited to start drawing. Okay, we've made it to our drawing destination. We're here at El Sabino, which is the biggest tree. We don't have a person for reference, but it uh, looks like, oh, there's a person. It looks like it's about 10 trees wide. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing a little sketching here. Of course, the problem with a tree like this is you can't quite fit it all on the page. Oh my. Step number one is to set up a frame so I know where my tree will fit on the page. I only have about half an hour to draw so I'm only going to aim for half of the tree. This is the kind of drawing that I kind of discover how to draw as I go. I don't have a set plan per se. Okay, I'm gonna pick a couple parts to add some detail and emphasis because otherwise it's such a big tree. So you don't even know where to look. Some more detailed parts. Wishy-washy it, come back, add some more detail. I start with getting the biggest shape, the silhouette of the whole tree trunk, in first, so I know where everything is going to fit on the page. Now, I know that my Lamy Safari pen has a water-soluble ink, so I can lay in some general light and dark patterns and get a suggestion of texture with the first layer of pen scribbles here. I notice that when I use the water brush without much water, I get a dry brush texture that reminds me of bark. So I'm gonna go with that in a few areas. What's really going to help this tree look realistic is a full range of lights and darks. The darker areas show where the tree has curves or where the cylindrical form of the trunk wraps away from us. Now I'm going to switch to my Micron pen. This is a 0.08, pretty thick, non-water soluble black ink pen. And I'll use this to outline the trunk and the branches to really make certain areas pop and give a little bit of definition to where one branch ends and the other begins. All in all, I'm pretty pleased with how it went. I'd love to go back and draw again. And when you're in San Miguel, bring some friends, check out El Sabino, and have a wonderful time if you decide to go draw San Miguel.